basically you'd have a, you'd have a base and then you'd have a, a piece of line or a uh, chain. And as we come along, there's actually a device uh, that we send out there that actually will cut through that chain. And uh, as it cuts through, that chain obviously gets disconnected and then the more the mine actually floats all right, to the top. All right, he's ready to go fly. That's it. Helicopter. It's capable of uh, a lot of fuel, uh, long distance, long range, um, in extreme weather. I mean, in this case, uh, over 100 degrees, or out here in the in the Arabian Gulf, where it's really hot. Um, you got to have high performance as far as aircraft capability. Um, so the aircraft supplies that capability for us. Um, especially in my position, I'm the starboard ramp, so basically it's my show back there. So if I was in, like the very first time I did it, I was kind of nervous and because I basically had the responsibility of everyone back there. Basically to paint a picture for the pilots and let them know exactly what's going on in the back, where we're at at our point of uh, streaming the gear or getting the gear out the, out the back of the aircraft and then letting them know how it looks once it's out and we're actually telling them. especially the location that we're in right now, um, mines can uh, really put a damper and our hindrance on our capabilities. So they got to keep a specific asset, and right now that asset's us. You, you stick a mine in the water, it's got a long chain, and, and it's at a certain depth. So um, you got to find that depth based on whatever intelligence um, that we have. Said mine is in the water, we can try to find that depth, you know, layer by layer through the onion. If the gear V's out, and um, it's got some well, a Mark 17 cutter is the formal name for it, and it's a cartridge actuated punch. Um, basically, the, that V would go down, catch that chain on there, and eventually it would hit a cutter. And it sh literally shoots a punch out, like a shotgun cartridge shoots a punch out to break that mine casing or the, the chain. All right, cartridge is 1,600 pounds. Hey, you do have the chance of actually like falling off the edge of the ramp, but. Uh, that gunner build, that gunner build there, it's there to save you. It's there to uh, make sure you don't go much past that rampage. Man, I mean, you got to think you're, you got some guys um, in the back of an aircraft. And we're 50 to 100 feet in the air um, with a lot of downwash. The aircraft's very powerful. You know, there's, um, it's hot. They're tired. There's a lot of things going on. Um, a lot of cables. That, things are very heavy. So all of that combined into a dynamic environment, um, whether it's the wind kicking around, um, the gear not cooperating as advertised. But you, you encounter those things. You try to anticipate those things and train those guys as best you can. I'm not worried about anything being dangerous. The only thing that gets kind of dangerous is on recovery. When you're bringing everything back in, those those orange flows are the last things to come in, and they can get pretty they can get pretty crazy in the wind. Uh, you're not you're not quick on your feet. Well, and the more I find the range structure, just it's I'm focused on the newer breed, and uh, uh, I try to take that mentality approach. So I'm motivated more towards training these guys and uh, making sure that they're safe every day and taking care of their needs. Day in, day out, uh, this job is is pretty good. Yeah, I already looked at it as good. Um, all the senior crewmen, they're, uh, they can get on your case a little bit when you're uh, when you're slacking, but for the most part, if you're doing your job right, they'll do their job right, which is to train you and, uh, and make you better.